Sorry to keep you waiting so long. Cigarette? Before we begin, Professor, I just want to say I've been an admirer of yours ever since I read your article on archetypes. I'm sorry, my what? The article you wrote for the Arkham Gazette. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble recollecting. No wonder you had quite a shock. You were lucky we found the two of you when we did. Carter. Is Carter all right? Yes, Mr. Carter is fine. Just a little shaken. Thank God. Yes. Speaking of which, what were you and he doing at the Bowen Ranch in the first place? I was following up on some research. As acceptable an answer as that may seem, Professor, trespassing on a crime scene is still a criminal offense. Look, I wanted to be in bed asleep an hour ago. If you tell me what I need to know, I can see letting the two of you off with just a warning. Tell me about your research. For the past five years, my Colleagues at the Miskatonic and I have been studying various religious sects from across the globe. Do you want to record this? My memory is fine. Anyway, when the Bowen cult was discovered by the police two days ago, from what I read in the papers, I noticed many characteristics similar to certain underground religious practices. However, although the police stated that the cultists had been apprehended, their ritual meeting place had yet to be discovered. <coughs> Carter's uncle works in the county clerk's office. He was able to discover that Bowen had dug out a massive cistern about 20 years ago. But Bowen never owned any livestock. Did you tell any of your colleagues of your findings? No. Only Randolph and I knew. That there was no one else to share in the terror. Now, the police may have left a sentry. We have everything we need. Ropes, walkie-talkie, gloves. Good. Go. And, uh, glass. <laughs> Excellent. Now, if your uncle is correct, the cistern should be a few hundred yards up this hill. Get the carjackers out of here? Force of habit. Hey, here's something you can cross off your bucket list. Felony on a school night? Night out with your professor. Shh. Okay. Are we sure this is such a good idea? What, are the twigs getting to you? I just mean... Couldn't this be done in daylight, or better yet, not at all? So you're scared of the dark, too? No. Just, like, something's best left in the shadows? You're an aspiring archaeologist, Randolph, so no. I would also hate to see my best students' grades take a sudden turn for the worse. As if any of your other students would do that. If you wish to call it a night, fine. Just know that you shall no more be a neighbor to my council. You and your Shakespeare. Tis now the very witching time of night when churchyards yawn and hell itself breathes out contagion to this world. Mm. Like that. Ah, here we are.
Empty, just as I expected. Only about seven or eight feet deep. So we won't need all of the rope. Down the rabbit hole, eh, Alice? Channel 34? I think so. Good luck. Huh? Occupational hazard. How far have you walked? About a uh, hundred yards. Come to me, child. What? I didn't say anything. There are several passages branching off now. I can't tell which way I should go. Oh, hang on. I think I'm at the meeting. I think that... Boy, boy, there are bodies down here. Randolph, just calm down. Breathe. What else do you see? There are seven chairs raised around, around the pillar, about a yard high. There's a metal box on top. The box? Does it have any character? It's covered in hieroglyphs. I don't recognize any one. There's something else down here. Carter, get out of there. Carter! Carter! Oh, no! No, oh, he's still there! Randolph. I'm so sorry. If you were to tell your colleagues what you just told me, what do you think their reaction would be? Excuse me? Well, would you and your colleagues be of the opinion that the Bowen cultists were, you know, worshippers of the Haunter of the Dark? What is wrong? None of my colleagues have ever mentioned that name. Not to our families. No one. Not even Randolph. Where's Randolph? What have you done with Randolph?
Since the dawn of man, I have never had as much trouble discerning a man's thoughts as I have yours. But no matter. We can start again. Cigarette? Before we begin, Professor, I just want to say that I've been an admirer of yours ever since I read your article on Archetypes. 